Yeah, we really don't want to talk about that. Do we? Alright, it's Sunday morning. It's going to be a hot one again today. So I'm going to try to do this before it gets hot. I've done dumped five gallons of gas in it. It shows a little on the needle. I'm going to see if I can make it run or its own power today where I can get it off this trailer. Because, you know, I got the trailer in a bit of a bind because I backed it in here, but it probably is a little much for my trailer. But hey, go big, go home. What you looking at, Daisy? All right, here's why people bring me quadra jets. Because they work on them and they mess them up. See here? This is why the accelerator pump don't work. And then see here? The primary meter and rod is bent over. So, I thought I could just pull one off the shelf, you know, and bolt it on, have it be fine, but it turns out that's not the case. But let me see if I can make it work. Somebody's running them up. I ain't sure what that was. Huh? Diesel making lots of racket. Um, I got the carburetor back together and now it idles and runs like it's supposed to. So I think what I'm going to do next is pull it off the trailer. And this one is bailing on me. She's got stuff she's got to do. She ain't got time to fool or the likes of me. You got something you need done, just do it. I got stuff to do. Whatever. Whatever. I hope while you're doing all that stuff, you're thinking about something to eat later. Yeah. Or are you going to make me cook again? You know, I got to do everything around here. Cook. Sometimes I do laundry. You ain't got to do nothing. You choose to, so that's it. Well, if I want to eat... What's that? You ain't starving. I guess she's got a point there. <laughs> it's because I cook all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, under the truck here, we got a little pond. And that's not good, so I'm going to crawl up under there and see what's, what's, what's the matter. Well, the first thing you'd think is the rear main seal, but I don't know that it is, I think. The oil's coming from up high there, like maybe a valve cover gasket. So, that's, that's good. Anyways, we had to take the inspection plate off because I was afraid the thing was seized. I couldn't get it to turn by the by hand or by the bolt, so I made him take this off and uh, it turned, so obviously it's been running. Go ahead and crank it up, bud. We're going to check and see if it's charging. That is, if I don't lose my test lead over here. Just let it idle. and a half at idle, a very low idle. It's kind of cold. Well, as cold as it gets on a hot day. But I think it's going to be all right. It's making weird noises because the exhaust and muffler about fell off and the air pumps are hooked up but not hooked up. And it's got two air pumps. Two, count them, two. I don't know if I can stand it. Be careful I don't get my camera caught up in the 
Yeah, see that? Sounds a lot better when you do that, don't it? Anyway, it don't have no oil pressure gauge or nothing, so the oil light ain't on. That's all I can tell you. It's got tubular exhaust. It's an 87, 450 cold. All right, the young man's over here. He's been doing a soap carving. I asked him what he made. A smaller bar of soap. <laughs> and he said, yeah. <laughs> it sort of looks like something. <laughs> oh, if you're wondering what I'm doing on the truck, I'm wiring up the tachometer. And I'm double and triple checking. That's why it takes so long. But soon, folks, soon soon it's going to be able to fire up and i'm looking forward to that glorious day aren't you yeah. who thank god for air condition well the young man who owns the truck out there came by we're not going to use his real name we'll just call him walt he's uh we got another satisfied customer i guess he got to drive it he's pretty excited I'm pretty excited too. I knew you, were excited you know, sometimes you us old car guys got to look at ourselves like an old car, old truck evangelist. We got to spread the word. We got to do a little preaching because you know what's going to happen, folks? This sport will die. If everybody sits around the house, plays video games, and only thinks about Call of Duty and Minecraft and whatever that other stuff is. You know, they ain't going to know how to turn no wrenches or know nothing about no 454 or 350, you know? Think of, think of the stuff that could be lost. So, guys, get out there. Tell the young'uns about these old trucks. Help them buy it. If they don't know how to make it run, help them make it run. Do a good deed. Don't be a jerk. Yeah, and go to MrHeavyChevy.com and buy a hat <laughs> or a shirt. And ask her and ask her she'll make some art or something. Trying to get in my shed. I ain't got no room in here. Alright, folks. I now have, after much concentration and brain power. Well, maybe not much brain power, but much concentration of what little brain power I have. I now have the instruments all wired. I think almost everything in the dash. Turn signals, brake lights, headlights, check engine lights. So I need to go back through and double check a few things. I don't think I have my, I still gotta wire up my temps, overheat light, and my oil pressure switch. I don't remember really what that is. But there's some, a few of these wires need power very specifically to power the thing up. And there's a, a few under here. I need to check all my connectors, check all my grounds. And this thing will fire up, I think. But it ain't gonna happen today because my poor brain's petered out. Right now, I'm gonna go put something in the oven that I hope will be good to eat. One guy commented that uh, I taught him a very valuable lesson and that was to use a Cummins which has one wire. You know, that's probably a pretty good lesson. But there is more to it than just, you know, the computer. You gotta have headlights and turn signals and all that stuff so it's an endeavor no doubt about it um, if this thing was to be compromised in some way I don't think I'd do it again but you know a lot of stuff I do I just do it and see if I can do it I had an old Suburban one time with a 6.2 diesel in fact my dad still has it that I converted to run on used vegetable oil, ran like a champ. Then I got sick of messing with used vegetable oil, so I gave it to my dad. But, you know, I like to do stuff like that. 
I like the straighten hood on that old 66. I done that, that's some years ago. And now, I get to straighten the door. Anyways, that's the end of the video today. I'm gonna ring the bell. Don't forget to go to MrHeavyChevy.com where you can buy a hat and be in the exclusive club of uh, Heavy Chevy apparel wearers or owners. Some own, don't wear. I don't know why, maybe they're afraid to mess up their hair. <laughs> a little poetry there. As my mom would say, you're a poet and you don't know it, but your feet show it. I don't know how that applies, but anyways, that's all folks. I know when to shut up.